Today we're going to go through the uh, Yaki dual frequency split antenna. Um, all the antennas come with an information sheet showing the part number, which is 12145, all the, and all the parts that came inside the, the packaging for the antenna. The antenna, uh, just to go through all the parts, we have the rear double dipole Yaki assembly, we have the front Yaki assembly, we have stainless steel M8 nuts, and also washers, flat washers and spring washers, uh, and a use of universal clamp. The Yagi comes in two pieces for simplicity of uh, and low cost on freight. The Yagi goes together as such, the holes lined up, and then you place both the MA bolts into the holes. Screw them up hand tight initially, and then tighten, tighten with a M a 13 mil spanner. Do not over tighten because we don't want to crush the antenna. Uh, up firm. And there's the end result of the Yagi antenna. The rear double dipole Yagi assembly can be used by itself. Um, you can you can achieve um, a signal for both frequencies by just using the rear end, but you will not get the same distance if you put both ends together. The Yagi has been built um, stronger and is proven to be more reliable with all the testing uh, carried out so far to give you a greater signal strength and better um, image.